Hello all and welcome to uh, the first edited episode of the series. Today we'll have those 2-0 Broncos going against the 0-2 Jacksonville Jaguars. Our offense sputtered last week, but uh, we start with, with the ball this time. And hoping to get back on the run. Running games what's made us or break us. Ugh. Travis Henry only gets a three on that run. We do a misdirection. We'll get another three, so we have a third manageable. Trying to find Javon Walker and a good play by Rashawn Mathis, and we give him back. And Jacksonville takes over. Garrard is going to find Maurice Jones Drew, who fumbled and is picked up by the Jaguars. I think he was down anyway, but still. Uh, so, first and ten for Jaguars. And they're going to go find Matt Jones, wide open over the middle. You can tell I've been playing the safeties. Not very well, but get a nice tackle on Maurice Jones Drew. Uh, he won't be injured for very long. And we have David Gerard trying to find Northcutt. Northcutt beat Champ Bailey pretty bad. But third and 11 now. And... Uh, uh, just I don't know what David Gerard is doing, but Brandon's taking it back. <laughs> so cool, he's got a first name as his last name. Speaking of that, going to Walker, getting a nice game of eight. That's his third down, and uh, pressure just got to us immediately. And we have to punt it away, and it should have should not been a touchback. The hairs of their chin, chin, chin. And Wade John Lynch there with a the tackle after a good game. Jacksonville's been able to run the ball pretty well today. We do stop him on that one. Third down now, and a good play there by John Lynch. Batting that ball away. Second and eight now, and Javon Walker's gonna get tackled in the backfield because our blocking wasn't good. And uh, ends the first quarter, 0-0. And a third and long to boot. We find Travis Henry, but the pass is bad, and we have to punt it back. David Gerard looking downfield. Again, Champ Bailey got worked by Aiden Dwarfcutt again. And Maurice Jones Drew breaking the ankles. And again, going right up the middle. What? Uh, Maurice Jones Drew. Just took it to John Lynch. Are you kidding me? I was in shock. I mean, he had some strong little legs, but come on, John Lynch. But 7 0 to those Jacksonville Jaguars. Morton's going to set us up with a good return and the face mask. So we start a little over midfield, or a little before midfield. Travis Henry with a run. Just haven't been able to set it up yet. And pass protection broke down immediately. Third and forever now. And trying to pump fake, not a good idea. Get beat immediately again. And gotta pump that thing right back. First and ten for the Jaguars. David Gerard's on the run. David Gerard's gonna have a good game. Uh, second and thirteen now. And, again, we don't stop him very often, but those hits on Jones Drew always help. Third and long, and well, we got to stop that, Dre Blay. George Wright, sir, making us look silly. Play action now. John Lynch with the pressure, and Williams gets that interception going back the other way. That's a first down for those Denver Broncos. And Jay Cutler misses. Third down now after not having very much success. But Rod Smith. One bright spot so far. Because no one else is making any catches. So straight there. That was a perfect throw by Smoking Jay. But he's going to come down with it. Second down now for those Broncos. Travis Henry up the gut. Gets us a few. That was the most successful run so far. And trying to find Rod Smith, and he dropped it. Wanted that one. And we'll line it up with Matt Prater. And the kick is good. 50 yards in the rain. You gotta love that. And then we're gonna go and kick it back off to Jacksonville. North cut to the 20, to the 30, to the 35. Jacksonville has good field position. 
and the health said I can't play safety and <laughs> should have been a pick but instead it's a big gain to Wilford and then they can find Jones Drew over the middle another really good gain and then they're gonna go up the gut with Jones Drew we just cannot stop him and again up the gut just cannot stop Jones Drew and they're just gonna keep feeding him they don't care that it's under two minutes they're gonna keep feeding their man and it's working out once again finally get a stop and it's up third and medium and David Garrard's like, I'm gonna go and test that run defense. And, Sir, you were right. And gets a first down. And that's gonna set up first and goal at the six yard line. David Garrard goes back to pass, and it should have been an interception again, but I ran into him. It's not good. Not a good series for John Lynch, also known as me, but Champ Bailey gets a good deflection right there. Second and goal. They're empty for some reason, even though they're running all over us. And another almost interception. Really weird decision. And third and goal. Can we get this goal line stop? No, we can't. They decided that they should actually run on us. Um, we would run the clock out and it would end 14 to 3 at halftime and they'd get the ball we are not a great position to be in especially Jones Drew deking out people and you can see just starting the second half already over a hundred yards just had no answers for him but third down and short can we get a stop here we didn't run that was a good thing but Found Wilford anyway in double coverage. We're gonna feed Jones Drew again, get some good gain on first down. That will set up third and short. And on third and short, we're gonna run it with Fred Taylor, and Fred Taylor's gonna get a lot more than three. Then, next play, Jaguars find Reister again, who jukes out everyone. I don't know where he got all that athleticism. Third and medium, though. Gerard gets sacked in that backfield. We needed that desperately. Well, our first possession, we're going to toss it to Sap. Not a great decision. Lose the yard. And we're going to try and find Rod Smith, but the pressure's too much. And we throw a pick. Just can't do that with the way. Our defense finally gets a stop, and we just give it right back. But Champ Bailey's like, I don't think so. Give me that thing. Champ Bailey got beat a few times, but that was a huge interception right there. Gone back. So we gotta take advantage of this. Uh, do a play action, and Johnson's like, screw your momentum, I'm gonna drop this pass. Oh, you do you, sir. And we're gonna find Rod Smith with a great pass, along with pass interference, which we decline. Jay Cutler again find Rod Smith, and he's becoming our target of the day. It was Javon Walker the first few weeks, but he's been nowhere to be seen. That was a bad pass to Daniel Graham, but on third and short. I, <laughs> this wasn't the running play I wanted, so I just went back to the original play. And I was really afraid we were going to pick up a yard, and we did by the <laughs> skin of our teeth. Um, trying to find Stokely deep and cut overthrew him by 10 years and then Cutler overthrew him by 10 years again not a good series for Stokely but a good one for Rod Smith so we'll convert that third down Travis Henry nothing and we held how are you gonna hold and still lose so many yards but Cutler finds Stokely on a great throw right there as he finally makes up for all the misses of Stokely before. And we're going to find Rod Smith again. They just cannot stop him. And we're going to enter that fourth quarter with a little momentum, even though we're still down. 14 to 3. We're going to actually run the ball with Travis Henry, despite little success. And he's going to bully his way in there. Touchdown, Broncos. Finally on the board with a touchdown. Four quarters in. 
So second down for those Jacksonville Jaguars, and Jones Drew is just going to get a mean block and run for game 20. First down here for Jacksonville. Again, not going to run. Or are they? <laughs> David Garrard gets a few. I wanted that hit stick. It did not happen. Throwing again, though, and that was a bad idea. Pressure got to him. Ferguson comes up with that pick. Thank you, sir. And next play for the Broncos. No one open. Covey's going to throw that thing away. Second down for the Broncos. This is a really tight window. Great throw to Rod Smith. He's just getting open all over the place. Dan Bell's even going to gain a few. That was one of our longer runs of the day. And Johnson's going to make up for that drop from earlier. Get us into the goal line. Yeah, yeah. first and goal. Cutler back to pass now, and Javon Walker going up and catching that. When we needed him most, he hasn't had much of an impact today, but we needed that catch desperately, and we're winning! 17-14, to 14. we make that extra point. So Jacksonville's playing catch-up, even though they've been dominating most of this game, just turnovers. And they almost threw another one right there. Luckily it was dropped. We made him think we're going to go Jones Drew. He picks up a few. Makes it a third and manageable. Play action. Why not? You know, we're so worried about the run. That we just sold out against it and it didn't work out. And they do it again, except Gerard runs this time. Takes a good hit. Which brings up second medium, back to Jones Drew. Jones Drew has a lane, picks up about 10 or 15. Next play, we finally stop him. We needed that. And that brings up third down after a two minute warning. Draw play to Jones Drew and he's just short. And I couldn't believe it, they actually sent out their field goal unit. And it's no good by a mile. Game over, right? need to run a few times and it's all over. Run it once, get nothing like we usually do. So 22 yards up to this point, run it again. And the guy held him as he was going to the ground. Second and 20 now. Almost an interception, but an incompletion. Not good. Try to catch him off guard with play action. I didn't. And almost another pick. So we ended up in 4th and 20, wasted about 10 seconds and one timeout, just terrible, <laughs> terrible two minute drill. So we put it away, the north cut, and he makes a move, and he fumbles, but he didn't actually, they don't return it. But Jaguars back at work, needing a field goal to tie, and Greg Jones, the big fullback, coming up clutch. Not what you want to see. And they would hurry up to the lot line. Yeah, and only needing a field goal now. You got plenty of time being our 50, and David Garrard's going to get sacked. Not for much, but we needed that. And we haven't gotten a lot of pressure, but we also haven't stopped the run enough to be able to trust our pressure. Anyway, second and 12 now. David Garrard's going to go again. And he's had some deadly runs. Gonna lead to a third and in inches. 25 seconds left. Be a very long field goal from there. And he's gonna find Northcutt. We need you, champ. And they're gonna save that last time out. Come up to the liner and fake spike. And I was caught off guard. Thankfully, my other CP CBs were not, and we were able to bat that down. But a 47-yard field goal to tie, and this one is money. Josh Scobie learned from his first field goal, and uh, we would get a opportunity. I was like, might as well try a kickoff return, I thought we had a chance there. But... And it was a face mask, so one on time down is like, just throw a screen, try not to lose, and big things might happen. But, you know, we're going to take the tie right now. 17-17, we won the coin toss, which was huge. Travis Henry, once again, not going to get any yards, so we're going to play action. 
And I think Daniel Graham has a step there, but Jay Cutler's just been missing. Third and ten, we cannot go three and out here. Cutler downfield, unbelievable catch by Daniel Graham. As Cutler's biggest throw of this new year, and followed up by a rare Stokely drop in the worst moment. But on third down, we get Rod Smith involved. We were still a little bit outside field goal range, and now we're in comfortable range. Now we got Javon Walker again making his first real impact, which will lead us to uh, running the ball a few times, setting up down the middle, and Matt Prater knocks it through. We do win that game. <laughs> I'm not sure how much we really deserve that, but, you know, a win is a win. But the thing is, too, Jaguars threw four picks, I'm pretty sure. I think we got ten points off of that. We should not be anywhere near losing games with that, but just could not set up the running game at all. Well, next game is against the 2-1 and one Colts, so uh, hopefully we can come out ahead in that one. Thank y'all. Bye.